From notable Louisville buildings, we broaden the focus to Louisville history. And arguably the best source for education and exploration of that subject is the Filson Historical Society. Joining us to talk more is director of the Filson, Mark Weatherington. Welcome. Thank you, Candace. First of all, tell us a little bit about the Filson's history and the museum and its mission. Well, our um, mission is to collect, preserve, and tell the significant stories of Kentucky and the Ohio Valley region's history and culture. Uh, that mission is the same as it was in 1884 when we were founded. That's 130 years ago. So we uh, collect an enormous variety of material, but basically it can be summarized uh, about 90% of what we collect is paper. Mm -hmm. And we also collect uh, museum items, uh, personal objects, and also a lot of uh, photographs and portraits, pictures, that type of thing. So uh, we're just the research center for this part of uh, of the Ohio Valley region, and we do specialize uh, heavily on Louisville and the fall cities. You yeah. mentioned you're a research center, but who exactly do you serve? We serve uh, all kinds of people. Anybody that has a question, anyone that has a question about the past, and that could be uh, a, a personal question about their family, that can be a scholar doing research on um, uh, migration, uh, the western frontier. We were the first American West. Uh, we were sort of the crossroads here. Uh, uh, and uh, graduate students are in a lot. We have a fellows program that in the last 15 years or so has brought about 400 interns and, uh -huh. uh, and doctoral and postdoctoral researchers into the fills. And so uh, there are a lot of people using the collection, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about your collections and can you highlight any oddities or really important artifacts? The real collection strength is, uh, as far as research use has gone, has been uh, frontier uh, that story of the first American West coming out across the Appalachian Mountains and settling in this area. Uh, antebellum a society, social history, uh, the Civil War and Reconstruction. We have a Civil War exhibit up right now. This is uh, uh, you know, a timely uh, period right now mm -hmm. to mention that. And uh, we have a real good collection on uh, technology, uh, steamboats especially. We've got the Bell uh, Centennial coming up. Uh, Later this year, we've got a huge steamboat research collection. We have a really fine bourbon collection, a bourbon uh, documenting bourbon history and a bourbon academy for educational purposes. And, uh, but the thing I would end with is that half of the collection uh, is 20th century. And that might surprise some people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, we should note that your collections are not all from famous people. No. Though some of them are. What can you? glean from some of the everyday items that families might save? Those are the types of materials that uh, I think are the most interesting in a lot of ways because you're going to have uh, someone's diary recording uh, what the day was like. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them have a lot about what the weather was like over and over again and hopefully it wasn't like we've had here <laughs> lately this year. But, but in a farming, a more, you know, agrarian absolutely. society, that was really important. It was very important. Um, the crops, how the crops were doing, uh, the health of, of, of relatives and family members comes up over and over again. Uh, mm. So that's important uh, too. And, and, and these collections will come in with uh, photographic images. We have about 50,000 50, photographic images, about 400 portraits. So there are a lot of, lot of research uh, opportunities in those collections that tell a lot of different stories. Uh, talk about plans and how they're progressing to expand and upgrade the Filson's okay. campus. We moved into the campus we're on now at 1310 South 3rd Street uh, in the mid 80s and our collecting has been so robust I guess you could say that we, we we're basically out of space again and uh, so our plans right now are to add a new 20,000 square foot uh, building at the corner of uh, 4th and Ormsby that will be linked to our present uh, mm -hmm. building and uh, at 1310 South 3rd Street. Uh, there will be a pedway that will go across the alley and the, uh, there will be a beautiful opened up uh, pedestrian mall that will go from 4th to 3rd. You can, you can see all the way through it will be open to the public. And the main thing we'll gain out of that expansion is uh, uh, an opportunity for for people to enjoy our programs in a larger s space. Right now we can handle about 100 people. We'll be able to, to have 250 people. Our collections uh, storage will expand for all those things I've just described by uh, over 
Mm -hmm. and we'll have more exhibit space. So the public will be able to get in and enjoy and learn from collections that we really haven't had an opportunity to teach with yet. Finally, ultimately, what does it mean for the Filson Historical Society to be here in Louisville? And why is it important for us to remember and retain the city's history? Well, I think it's important. Uh, that's a great question because I, I believe it has a lot to do with our identity. Uh, I talked about people's identity, personal identity, but I think it has a lot to do with our collective identity, who we are as a city. You know, we're, on a, we're at a crossroads here in Louisville. We're you know, on the northern part of the south and the southern part of the north and the western part of the east and the eastern part of the west. We're, <laughs> You're right. You know, so you have to ask yourself, who, who are we right. and uh, how do we fit in? And I think that's a question that uh, everyone has a different answer for, but it makes our history so much more interesting and I think rewarding to study when we think about, uh, about those uh, identity questions. And uh, I think helping us develop a sense of history and pride in who we are. This community has accomplished a lot. All right, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you.